This week on Reaction Time, we have our first ever video. We've been waiting for this moment. We've used up not all of our archive drag racing photos, of course not, but we've been waiting with bated breath to get some live action here on Burnout and look at what happened this past weekend. This weekend, courtesy of a speed video race day replay, we've got a great clip of Brennan Mills' very scary fire this past weekend at Darlington Dragway. You'll notice immediately there's very little social distancing going on there on the starting line. Here's some social distance though. Ooh. 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 Oh, no. That's a rough one. Yeah. That's a oh. rough one. It kicked the rods out of him or something. He's in his own oil. Oh, my gosh. No. So what happened was an EGT had oh, come no. loose. EGT. Really? Yeah, and, it, and it, when it blew out of the pipe, it took out a, a fuel line. Oh, that's a bad thing. Okay, that makes sense. That's why. It's sliding it just keeps sure. feeding no. the fuel. The fire. Yeah, just... Steve Logan with the impressive play-by-play -play on the PA here. Um, I've got, I'm seeing a drone capturing video footage of this. They're spraying down. Is our driver out yet? Wow, that. No, nope, there he's out. He's out. That, oh my God. He's out. He's out. They say it was 40 seconds in the fire. Um, and he had gotten, according to him, he had gotten caught on the cage with his Hans device. Because I saw him coming really? out. So I saw him quick, coming out and then he stopped. Yeah. Wow. You see the door right. kick open like as yeah. soon as the car comes to a stop. Okay, wow, so here's the EGT that. coming out. And that, He's trying to get some. We're going to get some yeah. fluid underneath the yeah. car. We're going to get some fluid underneath Oops, the car sliding. there. Fuel lines knocked off of it. You can actually see the liquid spraying. And yep. now he's, but you can see this. He's out of the car really, oh, man, really stop. quickly. Yeah, you saw him got out quick, and then it was like he went back in. And so I didn't, that makes sense that his Hans got caught. That's crazy. Yeah. So it's got caught in his quick thinking, you know, in the middle of this inferno, you know, tosses off his helmet, tosses the Hans, and then that's a scary move. Gets out. That's and, scary. Yeah, and I, I don't think it was. I don't think he was fully in the car. I think he was in the midst of getting out when it when it caught on the back. Too close. And for that's when it was like, all right, toss the helmet, throw that off, and eject. But I mean, I mean, you know, wear your safety gear. This is why. <laughs> Right. You know, True. because he's in longer than anticipated. And, you know, here's a guy who walks away. Right. I mean, that you know, by all accounts, he was he was fine. Yeah. yeah that being in the car for whether it was 40 seconds, I obviously didn't have a stopwatch in my hand or whatever. But that that was a scary scene. And it just again, I think one of the things that's so often uh, understated is the courage that is required to climb behind the wheel of any of these cars. Like drag racing requires a lot of things, uh, money, uh, talent, skill, et cetera. But courage is very high up on the list because that type of situation is staring you in the face every weekend, multiple times every weekend. So congratulations uh, to the crew there for getting the fire put out, getting things under control. And, and we're obviously very excited to see Brett Mills walk away from that very scary situation.